Sun Power, which made a presentation to you that's doing a joint venture with uh, Semi-Traffic, Roseman, uh, Water Bank Authority, and with Renewable Energies Western uh, Development on uh, 4,000 acres uh, for 600 megawatt of solar power has signed a definitive purchase agreement with Edison Corporation. That was announced yesterday afternoon. Uh, they expect uh, to finish the environmental uh, and to get their final approvals from Kern, but everything is on way. And they were very appreciative of coming to the district and making the presentation. And they're also uh, very uh, excited about participating with the JPA Western. They're all basically together. And it will create a number of new jobs for construction for this area, plus it'll have some long-term, very positive benefits for the area. I wasn't this aware of it, but apparently Kern County in California is becoming the county that is not just solar friendly, but business friendly. Uh, and they were saying it's, it's kind of setting the stage on how counties should operate. TVAC has done a shutdown on their um, plant and so our upper zone on Hook, everything north of Hook is, that runs on AVAC is now being run off of our booster station, which we had to do some uh, maintenance and repairs on it. Uh, currently, as of today, we'll be running probably <coughs> two weeks on uh, free of AVAC. Um, they're still cleaning sewers. The um, guys hung up uh, 100 or 488 late notices today and they'll be doing lockoffs on the 18th and as far as the, the water report we pumped uh, 125 acre feet from RCSD <coughs> and 10 acre feet from AVAC for a total of 135 acre feet this, uh, in the month of December. Well John I've been reading some accounts about uh, uh, abundance of water this year in California and uh, I almost got washed away at my house so I know it's raining someplace but uh, as far as the RCSD uh, allotment this year where does it stand? Uh, we've been uh, notified by AVAC that we have 50 percent of the allocation. Okay. So we, we've our, our allocation is uh, 1500 acre feet from AVAC mm -hmm. and we're guaranteed you know, half of that for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if the San Luis Reservoir uh, starts to spill, then the State Water Project will increase the allocation. Mm -hmm. um, so this year we're starting off a lot better than last year. Last year was a 5% allocation. Yeah. And this year we're already at 50% and could go higher. Mm -hmm. Now, are you putting that in the water bank or are you using it? Uh, currently we're, we're, we're banking water. Um, We'll probably be banking till the end of the month. Would you explain for our viewers what CASA in brief really does? Okay. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. We okay. match adult volunteers with children who are in the foster care system. Uh -huh. and our volunteers advocate for those kids and make contact with all of the people who are involved in that child's life and make recommendations to the court as to the best interests of that child. Okay, and it takes uh, some training. Correct. We have um, mandatory 35 hours of training. If somebody wanted to do that, what number would they call? They would call area code 661-631-2272. Okay. okay. And they'd ask for you, Kate? Correct. My name is Kate Kenny. I'm the volunteer recruiter with CASA. Okay. And you do the training? I do. Okay. Now, as a parent myself, I would uh, immediately think, oh, wow, this is like raising a number another child, but you're saying no, it's not that. No, no, we want our volunteers to visit with the child once a week for an hour, maybe two hours, but um, you know, you don't take this child into your home. Your personal life is totally separate from your role as a CASA, so it's not, we don't take on a parenting role. This is the Roseman Animal Hospital on Thursday, and uh, Dr. Rick and Carla are preparing the inside of it, getting it ready to open maybe in a month. We're here at Roseman High School, uh, heading into the soccer stadium and the Muroc Joint Unified School District, Warren and Edwards, has come to Roseman today for soccer. Here come the runners, varsity boys, 
onto the field while the varsity girls are still playing here in the foreground. In the girls game with uh, 5 minute 44 seconds, it's home one. Visitor, the two. scorekeeper. Yeah. And uh, who got that goal? Marissa Trujillo. Okay. And uh, have you been doing the scorekeeping all year? Yeah. Another close game with uh, age old rival, Desert. Right. Uh, last eight games, we've won four and they've won four. Today being one of their wins. But uh, we'll see them again during the season. We'll do well. Uh huh. Uh, we, ran, we ran a spirited game. They've got a couple scores. We got one. The reality is, uh, I think next time the score's going to be reversed. That's what I want. Uh -huh. uh, at the end of the year, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Desert and ourselves uh, facing Bishop. Um, I'm relatively sure we'll do well. Well, Coach, the old rival Desert is here today. So, what kind of game are we looking forward to? Well, the guys played really good up in Kern Valley, and uh, I was real pleased with their play. They played good possession ball, probably about 90% of the time we had possession, and, and they finished well, so you guys should be in for a good uh, a good show tonight. So we have Desert and Roseman in an age-old rivalry. What do you see the outcome of the game being I, today? It's hard to say. You know, uh, I heard uh, John over here has got a pretty good team, and uh, we're just hoping to stay competitive with them. You know, uh, uh -huh. we played last week, and we got beat pretty bad. Uh -huh. So uh, hopefully we can snap back from that and uh, give them a good game. Runner's got one on that one. Four uh, left. Pocky kicks in. Uh, even another goal. So that makes it three nothing. Runners over the Scorpions. Thank you. 